Robert Zemeckis is an Academy Award winning director who was born on May 14, 1952 in Chicago, Illinois. His interest in film began in high school and he eventually attended film school where he won a Student Academy Award and gained the attention from famous directors Steven Spielberg and John Milius. They gave Zemeckis an opportunity to help write a screenplay and just a few years after he was directing his own films. He directed a few semi-successful movies but it was the famous movie Back to the Future that was released in 1985 which launched his career. 21 gigawatts! Tom! How am I gonna generate that kind of power? It can't be done, can it? Look, right. all we need is a little plutonium. Oh, I'm sure that in 1985, plutonium is available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Marty, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're stuck here. Whoa, whoa, I'm stuck here. I can't, I can't be stuck here. I got a life in 1985. The movie sparked two sequels and to this day is considered one of the most successful trilogies ever made. His success did not stop there. He went on to direct many other critically acclaimed films such as Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Gotcha, kid. Come on, Eddie, let's get out of here. Mama, Papa, yeah! A Christmas Carol. The Polar Express. Passed away. Although these movies contributed to his overall success as a director, none compared to his most famous film, Forrest Gump. This movie has become a household name that earned him a Golden Globe Award for Best Director Motion Picture and additionally contains some of the most famous lines that I am sure many of you are familiar with. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid goes. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. Zemeckis was able to cast one of the most well-known actors of our era, Tom Hanks, who never failed to put on a performance that brought the film to life. He also loved hiring Alan Silvestri to be in charge of music, who has brought us many unforgettable songs that have heavily enhanced the emotions that Zemeckis wanted the audience to feel. He incorporates many close-up shots throughout his films, which allows the audience to see the emotions of the characters and feel more in tune to what they are going through. Although the themes of his different films do not fall under the same genre, 
He always utilizes the newest technological advancements to enhance his visual effects, which has helped create a distinguished style in his directing. In Forrest Gump, Robert Zemeckis demonstrates all of the directing techniques that has made him such a success in just one film sequence. Forrest was trapped in his leg braces and always felt restricted from being free and enjoying the world around him. When the braces break off, he becomes free of the physical barriers they caused and metaphorically he breaks away from the things that were holding him back and causing him pain. This scene projects emotion upon the audience by the camera angles that he uses. The close-up shots allow the audience to get a better sense of what is happening in the moment. We are able to see the compassion that Jenny has for Forrest when we as an audience are able to get a close-up look at her facial expression. When the braces break off, that is all we see, so the moment has a bigger impact since it takes up majority of the screen. The slow motion creates a loss of time, which also enhances the buildup of the breakaway, especially when the slow motion sound begins to incorporate music. The music correlates perfectly with the moment, and as he breaks away, we as an audience are felt with a sense of relief and excitement. Robert Zemeckis' ability to make the audience feel so strongly in moments like these are one of the major reasons he has become one of the most famous directors to this day. And the Oscar goes to... Alex, your father just won the Academy Award. Robert Zemeckis for Forrest Gump.